Hey, what is good, my anime fate? What is good? With what we get in this week's episode, I am really not surprised how far things have continued to be pushed when it comes down to the characters learning on the fly and the shadow uh, girl and the other one she controls learning quickly what to do and what not to do on just multiple occasions. Not only are they not easy to just trick and uh, get pull one over on, they're actually proving to be better and better every single time they kind of get into these conflicts, which is really scary. But the same could be said about the old man, it, uh, him losing his scope and still hitting accurate shots was very uh, noteworthy, even for the shadow to kind of give the credit where credit is due, just kind of showed how impressive that is, not to mention how, you know, age doesn't seem to stop him from hitting the shots. So we can't, what do these young folk got to complain about now? <laughs> anyway, I do like what we're seeing. There's a lot of potential for a lot of these people to actually survive at the end of the day. Seeing how we get kind of the conclusion, or not conclusion, but the moral of the story type of deal of the timeline right how many times you can go back and the battle kind of spoiled it with <clears throat> the main shadow guy being their true focus and i love that actually how they attacked the girl so much but in actuality their target was him mr indestructible mr so broken so by having that uh, you know, attitude about him and having that way of just carrying himself, it made sense that he didn't think he was the main focus and they do something really dope at the end of the day. So that, and I feel as if when you watch this week's episode, uh, if you haven't watched it and you're just listening to this quickly, think of it as a horror and it might already be for some of you as I talk to someone who, who really put this thought in my mind. Like, I didn't really picture this show as horror after uh, so much of the dead, <clears throat> sorry, the deadly continuation of just attacks on attacks on our character. And to think about it as like, oh, it's so creepy and so scary because if anything happens to them uh, sooner than later, they could just, he could just go back in time. Now, that's not an option, right? That's what actually kind of puts more horror into it in my mind, is the fact that whoever dies at this given moment, or, yeah, like coming up, or, you know, if you die first, if you die last, all of that's going to matter when it comes down to the next time he can final loop, right? So it's getting so interesting, and it's always been interesting, to be fair. So to know that it's continuously pushing the envelope and still feeling like I don't know what's going to happen... I'm truly interested to see what they're going to uh, roll out for us here soon. So I hope you are as well. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting your boy for quite some time. Um, I do have plans on um, making some other videos and updating some stuff here and there. But as of right now, I'm just living. <laughs> like, I, I'm i here to post daily, and I post on Twitter. I post on different things like that, Instagram. But outside of that, uh, once I actually get the things that I need and have everything settled around me, it'll be looking a lot different. But I appreciate y'all sticking in there with me that do. And I do uh, look forward to seeing more of the show and 
expressing how mind-bendingly scared and crazy it is. So, overall, take care, everybody, and I hope you have a good one. Peace. Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. I, I forget that thing. <laughs>